You respect Diddler? Who? <laughs> Diddler? Diddler? The Diddler? I was actually probably Did he or didn't he? <laughs> Did Who? he do it? Diddler. Diddler. Who Diddy. The fuck Did he dump? Did he? <laughs> Yo, what other only topic are we Yo, talking about? What? Did he do it? Did he don't? Or did, did he, he not? Or did he? <laughs> well, what did you did call did him? Like when he you said diddle? Diddle? me, I heard diddle? Diddle? the diddler. The diddler. I heard yeah. diddler. The diddler. I never I heard, heard diddler. <laughs> Don't yell, stop that's the saying diddler. that shit. That's the bro. diddler. What? That's what? That's what? That's him. That's not. Yeah. Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he do it? Did he not? Did he not? I don't know Diddler. Did he do it? Did he not? Yo, that nigga turned into Harriet Tubman for the pussy, bro. And for the black. I knew he had underground railroad and shit. Oh, no, shit. I, didn't, I didn't know that part. Nah, this they were saying he had an underground pool nigga. in one of his uh, states. I'm not too surprised somehow. I know uh, what underground tunnel. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, you probably have heard of it. Uh, three of P. Diddy's homes have been raided. His L.A. residency, his New York place, and his Miami place. And in, since then, since news is broke, there's a bunch of stories that are going out there about what's going on. We're trying to understand it. But this seems to be centered around a sex trafficking case. Uh, now, the thing that stuck out to me when I first saw this is that Homeland Security agents yeah. were the ones. It wasn't ATF. It wasn't the DEA, FBI, et cetera. Granted, though, they were all present on the site. Yeah, joint. They were joint. Yeah, it was a joint effort, which tells you everything you need to know about how serious yeah. <laughs> this case is, right? Homeland Security. You mean the niggas that's protecting the homeland? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? You mean the, the people that are securing the homeland? <laughs> hmm? You don't you, you know why, right? I would love for you to say it. So they were. So the reason why HSI was involved is HSI. because it's inter, it's interstate, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Um, on one of the lawsuits, the they they refer to her as Jane Doe. Mm-hmm. She alleged that she was put on the jet uh, at this time um, that she was referring to, uh, and was essentially sex trafficked to Diddy and um, one of his colleagues. Yeah, and to add on to what well, you're saying, Pierre, I just realized not too long ago what. Uh, what sex trafficking actually meant. You know, when you hear the word sex trafficking, it sounds like, what the fuck? Yeah. And it is what the fuck. I don't want to dilute it at all. No, no. But literally, all it is is just taking a person through state lines yeah. to yeah. Like commit sexual acts. That's, that's the minimal. That's yeah. the min- So I think that's the problem. A lot of people just have a problem with how words real, sound. But when, real, you, look, when real, you go by definition. Real quick, regar- yeah. and that to what you're saying yeah. to us is regardless of consent. Regardless of consent. Coercion, yeah. et cetera. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, and um, these niggas is all going down. Oh yeah, yeah, revelation. They yeah. all going down. Yeah. Twenty twenty four. We're getting like, everybody out of here. It's it's a lot of people. Do, you, do <laughs> y'all familiar with Sloan Bella? Yes, yes I yeah. Am. Can you enlighten me on that? Please? Yeah. So oh, Sloan Bella, man. she has a YouTube channel, and she's big on astrology, frequencies, energy. She's a psychic. She's a self proclaimed psychic. Um, and she has taken people from our culture, right? Hip hop, music, entertainment, and she does readings on them. And oh, okay. she also, she's one of those, like, and she's actually predicted a lot of this Diddy stuff Whoa. to a T. No, but like to a T. It wasn't like, oh, like Diddy's going to have trouble in 2024. Like specifically, like, no, they're going to find his phone on this day. They're going to, I want to see that. The, I want to see those YouTube No, it's like the lawsuit's going to drop on this day. She's like she's it. like. To a T. Like, months ago. Yeah. she goes years back months and ago. says, hey, like. For instance, she'll say in 2021, hey, on Easter of 2024, something's going to happen here with this person. Every time. And Whoa. it seems to happen. Like her track yeah. record, she's one of those people that you retroactively discover. Because in the moment, you're like, oh, this yeah. nigga's crazy. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, like when the That's Cassie lawsuit put. dropped, we found her video from five months ago, yeah. her predicting all of this. Whoa. So, around around so, the exact yeah. time. And yeah. Anybody who's not familiar, I would advise you to get familiar. If you're interested in like, again, she's one of those people who astrology, frequencies, readings, all those kind of she's things. basically a medium. You said yeah. Sl- Sloan Bella? Sloan Bella. Sloan Bella. Yeah. S L O A N Bella. B E L A. She literally Her- was doing the Diddy video months ago and was yep. like in March. And what yeah. happened in March? Oh my God. All the dominoes. Bro. Yeah. All yeah. the yeah. dominoes yeah. fell yeah. It's. Really informative. And yeah. um, a lot of her predictions, I will say, are like mostly based around Kim Porter, though. Like yes. that's the basis of it. Yeah. Like she's discussing what Kim Porter is telling her. She's channeling her and energy. And then she talks about like Diddy wow. stuff. So she's yeah. not like hyper fixated on Diddy or anything, yeah. but that's interesting. She speaks to just energies and connecting with people who have transitioned. 
Like that's really one of her things. So um, I binge watched a few of her episodes over the last few days, but the two that stood out to me, she did one on off, uh, not off, take, take off. off I excuse saw that me. Too. She did like a thirty minute um, review on take off. Uh, which was a really eerie death, right? I think everybody could be like, wait, yeah, something kind of was... It was just some questions there. She did something on him and she did something on Jay-Z recently. Again, I advise everybody to go check that out. I think it's super dope. But um, she has been keeping a pulse on this whole Diddy situation. Yeah. And she also predicted this Easter timing of Diddy's demise, yeah. like to a T. So I am surprised, but I'm not surprised because, again, I feel like Everything that's done in the dark kind of comes to the light at some mm, point. Of course. And mm. I think I, I I think Diddy's a sick nigga. Like I think, think he might need help. That's for sure. No, for real. I, th- I think but he, he, he I, seems, that's clear by now. Yeah, like yeah. he seems to be a sexual deviant. For sure. And, and, you know, and, and the fucked up part about it is when they raided his home yep, in just Miami, you, you just see the shots of his kids being apprehended yeah. yep. and in cuffs. Yeah, and right on the lawn. sins of your father. It's, it's it, and it's so sad, bro. Imagine what his kids were subject to seeing. And, being and speaking around. of speaking of his kids, they, it was reported that um, the Miami, the Star Island home, I believe, yeah. it was in his daughter's name. So oh yeah, I saw that too. That's yeah, kind of yeah. subjective uh, to be like, okay, maybe he knew something was going on, so that if my assets were ever in question, they couldn't but take it because this is under name. my direct name. Wow. You bring up assets, he. Uh, Today, as today, as recently as today, he has sold all his revolt shares. I'll beat that. Mm-hmm. So he has completely washed his to hands. To an unknown buyer. To an unknown mm-hmm. buyer. They, they said he's still an African-American buyer, but this is a company he, fe- he founded in 2013, you know, mm-hmm. before they had to take yeah. him off the board when the I first mean, stuff popped out. But this was like, now we're going to watch like, for sure. And, and, yeah. and the other thing I'll say too is, you know, whenever we get like fresh news about certain things like this that happen, I would advise everybody to just make sure you check your sources because Absolutely. I was watching a video where... This lady was saying he was uh, that Diddy was running on the he was on his uh, jet he fleed when that was totally a farce that was not the case mm-hmm. he uh, allegedly he was in uh, Opalaka and they have video of him there you know just all the stuff that you're hearing everyone's you know just take into consideration that this is like literally an active thing and just double check your sources and uh, just monitor what you take in as truth versus what's not so yeah mm-hmm. sometimes the truth ain't funny though. Nah, not at all. And uh, the severity of this situation. I, I'm sure there were a lot of people, probably even Puff, right? All right, cool. I gave Cassie the 30 million. All right, cool. I'm going to just lawyer up and whoever tries to get money out of me will just fight them in court. We'll deal with it. We'll go forward. This is for, for them to have the ATF, the DEA, and Homeland Security involved. Like, wow. If we know anything about the feds, right? The case has already been cooked. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if Cassie s- spoke to the feds about this. Oh, everybody. Yeah. Everybody involved. I just want people to really understand the magnitude of this, right? Yeah. Because though you may not see at the time of this recording, Diddy in handcuffs. You saw his uh, his sons were released after they were questions, etc. There is way more down the pipeline. Like this alleged alleged sex trafficking rink. It probably involves some very high level, high level people above Puff. For sure. And I don't want to take anything away from Puff because I know he was very involved and hands on. I mean, we, we, can, we can tell off of what Cassie told us alone. Yeah. You know, and, how, to, and- how some of those sex escapades mm-hmm. were, right? But I think there's some very nasty things at play that will involve a bunch of people. My question is if those people get revealed or they just put up Puff as the face for it. Dang. I like think there's that, a lot that we don't even realize. For yeah. sure. That's what it feels Dang. like. And I've never seen anything yeah. where, you know, when he when Cassie's uh first put out the lawsuit or when the lawsuit was first put out, I've never seen like prominent figures and people that we know have been around him, like no one said anything. Yeah. They wouldn't no, touch it with a ten foot pole. People do say things. No, I'm talking about at the time of Cassie's lawsuit. Okay. Like people that we knew that were like really associated with him, no one wanted to say anything. Mm. Mm. Well, I think it's one of those things where you just gotta watch watch it play out. But I also believe I, I feel like there's some black Epstein shit. Kind sure, of, yeah. yeah. yeah it's got it feels like some I, black yeah. Epstein, I think it is some Epstein shit. shit. You don't know. No, it, it feels like some Epstein <laughs> shit is on the way. Like again. They, they play in our faces and we are just so conditioned to not question anything or if the masses aren't questioning anything, we don't really use our discernment to look at what it is, mm-hmm. right? Like when Cassie left Diddy or even when Cassie was with Diddy, 
why weren't we as the masses questioning these things? And now I know hindsight is twenty twenty. Not yeah, right. I, hindsight is twenty twenty. You know why? But though, right? I again, just personally, I always looked at, and no shot at Cassie. But how the fuck were they together? Like, what the fuck did they have? How did that end up? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> She's his artist. She's way younger. Where is way the correlate? Like, they, it, it never felt compatible to me. And that, now I didn't, I didn't think Diddy was like sex trafficking or abusing her, but I always looked at it like, this don't really make sense. Like, Hov and Beyonce, I, that kind of makes sense. That makes sense. And they got together during a time where social media wasn't prevalent. The Me Too, the, the Me Too mo- uh, movement didn't occur yet, right? Mm-hmm. So it's easy for things to just get swept under the rug, right? Because it was already a thing. I was going to ask y'all, how do y'all feel like as a society we're going to be split in half? Because it's going to happen. What, you what do you mean? What do you mean? When the whole R. Kelly shit happened, people were split in half. Mm. No matter how much you heard about it. Mm-hmm. Even if there was a documentary. Even if there was a part two on that documentary. We were split. Mm-hmm. How are we going to be split here? I mean, even if there is a split, like, well, you were mentioning R. Kelly, like the people who, well, I'm on the side where, you know, I, I don't listen to his music. I'm okay, cool. I believe what everybody's telling me. Boom, I'm done with R. Kelly. There's another side of it, of that coin. I don't really care about the other side of the coin. So, like, if we're split on the Diddy stuff, like, I'm not really concerned with, like, the people who are, like, still defending him. I like that question, but I don't think it's going to be a split because I don't think Diddy is as beloved. I was just about to say You know what I'm saying? It's going to take, oh, oh, Mm -hmm. unfortunately, it's going to take a woman Mm -hmm. to be associated with the man Mm -hmm. for us to really be. We will get rid of a black nigga in a heartbeat Mm -hmm. if we feel he's done wrong. We're going to cancel mm-hmm. any nigga mm-hmm. who's, and, who we feel has done anything wrong. And there are going to be mad people, like hundreds of thousands of people defending Diddy, but I just don't really think that's going to like split us as yeah. a nation. And though people yeah. love Diddy's catalog, you know, that he executively, executive produced on some of it, most of it, R. Kelly was really singing a lot of those records that he was, people- He wrote a lot of them, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that just connects to people on a whole nother level, right? And it's very hard for them to separate the two. A nigga like, did he, blah, that nigga made a beat. Oh, he said ad lib, I'm cool. Like, oh my God. As, as, global, <laughs> as global as Diddy is, he's yeah. not as he's not as beloved, right? Like yeah. we revere Diddy for like his business acumen, right? And his consistency. We don't look at him as like the artist, like, oh my God. Like there's a different connection when you revere somebody for their art in their creation compared to somebody who, you know, you just admire or you respect because of who they are in business, right? Like, I think that's when we'll really get a split. Like R. Kelly, as great as he is, like there's some people yeah. in middle of America who don't give a fuck about him. Like uh-huh. the, the, the ones, the real ones at the top who can really divide like that quote unquote split. I think is it, this is the gateway to that. I think Diddy is the gateway to all of our faves. For sure. And For hopefully sure. your faves is on the right she side of deep. history. She get deep, man. Diddy's connected to political figures. Diddy is connected to people from different industries. Yeah. And you want to know, you know the funny part about all of that, though, is everybody likes to party. That's that's the problem. Cat Williams. That's the problem. To tell you. That's you gotta the problem. tell him no. He told you. You gotta, you gotta tell him no. no. You gotta, gotta tell, tell no. Diddy no.